Video gone. So, so the next one is going to be two hot songs that work on your dance floor. We don't have to go into the why. We can debate it or talk about those songs afterwards. But I want each one of our people to pick two songs that work on their dance floor that are, are going to be popular songs. And then I don't want to have any repeating. So, Arturo, you're the last one to come in. We're going to let you go first. Mitch, you're going to go last because that makes it most difficult for you. You're welcome. Arturo, two, two hot songs that are just really hot right now for you guys. Well, believe it or not, I play that for Hispanics in a, a, a song called uh, El Caballo Dorado. It's kind of like a long line dance. It's a it on, people start dancing. And the other one is The Wobble. Those are my top two songs that I get everybody on the dance floor. Very cool, very cool. Dave, I'm going to have you go next. God, anything Bieber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take your DJ card away from you. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. And, and he's from my country. I mean, and that's not a fly guy raised real pro. I, I can't believe he's back as big as he is. It blows my mind, to be quite honest. Um, but I guess just like Britney Spears, any press is good press. And he, <laughs> and he has, has done. So you're going you're gonna to just randomly, your two songs are going to be anything from just the two, two songs from Justin Bieber. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Uptown Funk is still hot. I mean, I'll, okay, I'll say Uptown Funk and I'll say, uh, you know, uh, sorry, Justin Bieber. And there yeah. we go. So that way you can take Uptown Funk off the table. So it's gonna get <laughs> it's gonna get more difficult now as we go. Anthony, can you uh, give us a couple of songs that you think are hot? Uh, well, for me, it's kind of a hard one because what I find is we have like five radio stations in town. 500,000 people and anything that they're playing currently that's hot and you play it everybody just goes nuts that's it well that's kind of boring and they're playing songs from from like last year like i don't know uh, the weekend can't feel there's still playing can't feel my face and like i mean he took my song they, they just go nuts <laughs> They, they go nuts. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Okay. Let's see, James, you're next. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into old school. Oh, uh, that's where I was going to go. Yeah. It takes two into Apache. Ah. Yeah. Nice. You know, I, I, know, I know it's old, and, uh, but it still, it still fills it. It fills it uh, dance floor up like, yeah. Like it, it's an instant go-to. Cool, cool. Mitch? Well, uh, Can't Feel My Face was one that I was definitely going to say. Uh, it's it's funny because, you know, I was at a country, country concert not that long ago, and they were bumping that song with the country crowd, and everybody was singing it. Hmm. So, very interesting. Uh, for me, it's... Um, if you get, you know, the, the parents ages, if you will, and I dare say, you know, yours and my age, John, yep. uh, your love by the outfield still works. <laughs> good pick. Good pick. Yes, it does. It, it's still, <laughs> you hit that vocal over the top of, you know, I'm, I'm normally uh, beat mixing out of push it salt and pepper into your love or, and you know, something else. And that works. And then the other one, frankly, that still works right now, and yeah, it's a recurrent, but Shut Up and Dance still works. Mm -hmm. People will still dance to that, at least in my market. Yeah. My two that I'm going to go is I was going to go some old school with this also. And one of them is it, they both are, the, are high school mainly that I get requests for these, and the kids are engaging them. Barbie Girl still goes over incredibly well at high school dances. Yeah, I don't oh, know why. You, you, took my, you took my card away for Bieber? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying this is this is what has this, something must be different down in the US. Yeah, well, it might be a central Minnesota thing go. too. But rest in plastic it's fantastic. No. You go and you you know I'm going by the response of the dance floor, you know, and the kids hoot and holler at a lot. But there's like this this like they shifted into a different gear they're getting so excited. it's like what what whoa no. And the other one that that gets a lot of response and a lot of a lot of play in what I'm doing is um, I do a video version with uh, "Don't Stop Believing," where it's a sing along, and I make it a sing along, and I've got a routine to that, and it I use that pretty much everywhere, and 
it never fails to take the energy level from here to up here when we're done with it. And it just, just goes crazy with that. So yeah, those are my two. One quick, we've got Side a couple... note about don't stop believing. The yeah. shop just up the street from me did their last tour. Nice. Cool. Hey, can cool. I, John, can I mention a song that I wish was really, really hot? Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, let's, let's go with, I went, you had an angle, but go, go with that. Okay. Um, I mean, I think it came out late last year and it was hot at two weddings, if I remember correctly, but uh, SOB by Nathaniel Raycliffe and the Night Sweats. I wish that song was massive because it's such a fun song. Hmm, interesting. Son, it, son of a bitch by Nathaniel Raycliffe and the Night Sweats. Nobody? No, no, that's not. I've never, I've never heard it. But that's interesting because it. Oh, believe it or not, Jim Cerrone turned me onto that song. Jim, if you're watching, it's all your fault. <laughs> it's your Jim fault. That, and Jim, uh, Jim take a does. listen. It is fun. I'll have to have to do that. For you my, know, that'd be a good subject. What's a guilty pleasure song? The, when the, that's it. I've got a, a, a Derulian. I talked about this on one of our live shows, and I can't think of it. Uh, the, one of his recent ones, not the very newest one, but the one before that, that I had th- hoped it would go over better, but it never quite did. Want to? Yeah. Yeah, Want Me. Yeah. I it, The song's got such a great beat, and it's got such a, a and it moves along, and it, you know, it's not horrible, bad lyrics. I mean, some of them are, but the one, the and it's like, it doesn't go over on the dance floor for me. <laughs> but I want to. You're going to laugh. M- one of my guilty pleasure songs is Jam by Michael Jackson. Oh, I love that song. I love that song. Mm-hmm. And you don't play it at all anymore, but I no. just, that song just always gets me. My, mine, I close out like when I'm doing bars or, you know, parties or something like that. 311, Amber. Oh, boy, I haven't heard that one in a long, long time. Yeah, I, 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 it's just like a mellow, relaxing, you know, everybody, you know, Usually, you know, it gets a little wild if you're working at a bar or nightclub at yeah. the end of the night, everybody's tank. And it just, it slows the groove down. It puts everybody in a mellow. Nobody wants to fight. Everybody's like, I like the song, swinging her beer as they finish it. I love you, brother. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Be back next week. Oh. Anybody yeah. have any other songs that are kind of a guilty pleasure? We'll, we'll finish up with that. I don't know because apparently nobody knew my Nathaniel Radcliffe too. Well, no, I'm they're actually more that, they're actually I'm talking about more that none of you know. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris mentioned uh, Chris. Chris knew who sang it, so there's more than one person okay. I listened to Jim Sirowin. <laughs> Two of you did. <laughs> uh, guilty pleasures. I don't know. I go I go into all kinds of roots. If somebody wants to hear a guilty pleasure song of mine, they can look up a song called uh, Addie Amos by Miriam Stockley. Okay. Wow. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> now that, that just brought me up to my guilty pleasure <laughs> song. When I have someone who we've I've done the wedding, the wedding's over, and and we've ended, and they're like, "Can you play one more song?" And it's like, "Well, what would you like to hear? I can do one more song for you, just because you're a nice person." And they're like, "You pick it. You play your your favorite song that you want to play at this point in time. It's Prince. Let's get crazy. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. Do this God life. And then of course the volume has to continually." escalate as the song goes and when he hits the guitar right. the guitar riff the the you know and again you guys probably seen some of my videos we're, we're running either i'm using the big yamahas or i'm running the big evs with the 18s i mean this is this is way bigger than most of my weddings need by the time that's done and you've got the drums and everything going at the very end it's the room just kind of echoes that for a few seconds afterwards after the song's done yeah i guess that'd be a guilty pleasure song Okay, we've got two topics left. Let's jump in. 